Hey, how's it going? Jeff at Deep Cycle Battery San Diego with your How To Wednesday. The subject of this video is going to be how to charge a bank of batteries. And in our example here, we uh, did a mock of a battery bank to simulate what you could possibly have on your motorhome or your boat or your solar system. And the idea here is to represent a bank of batteries hooked together, whether it be in series or parallel, and then where to place the charging. And this reason, the reason we're doing this video is because we had a recent event where a customer had uh, <clears throat> a particular battery drop out of the bank prematurely of the other batteries. And it did seem odd to us, so we sent the guy out and they uh, determined that the battery was good, but it was just undercharged. And when we were looking at the battery bank, and this was a solar example, we discovered that the position of the charger uh, from the solar panels to the battery bank was incorrectly placed. And when we say that is because um, there is a very specific place to put the charging uh, to your battery bank. In this example, I'm going to use these alligator clips of a uh, charger. And don't don't think of this as you have to talk, don't use my example as this particular charger. Think about it is you could <clears throat> my example could be used uh, in reference to a solar charger on a solar panel, or it could be an onboard charger you have on a boat, or anything like that. As long as you have a bank of batteries, meaning more than one. It's very important to where you locate the charging. So in this example, um, we have 12 volt batteries and they're hooked in parallel. Parallel means we are doubling the capacity or the amperage but maintaining the voltage. So we have a 12 volt consistent bank <clears throat> doubling the capacity so we have more output. And parallel means positive to positive to positive and then negative to negative to negative all the way across each battery. And they're hooked in equal lengths. That's important. Uh, a cable is yeah, gauge is uh, similar, or I'm sorry, equal, and the and the length is equal. But that's not the point here. <clears throat> Questions we get asked, or we see that incorrectly wired, are where to put the charging. Okay, and what we have seen incorrectly is we have seen the positive and the negative on a bank of batteries on one particular battery only, and the expectation is so we take this charger right here. <clears throat> positive is red. Let's say black is negative and we would place it on this battery first one right here. And we turn the charger on, or the solar charger kicks on, and now we expect the charging of this battery to work its way to this back battery. That is not gonna happen. And in fact, uh, I, now that I think of it, we actually had this occur when a semi-truck, which had three 12 volt batteries ran together in parallel, the uh, back battery would continually drop out. And the reason was when I visited the dealership, uh, the mechanic, uh, had some interesting words, but we had <laughs> we had a discussion about the charging because the truck charger was on the first battery, and the mechanic expected the charging to work its way to the back battery. It will not work like that. So to correctly uh, place the charging of your battery bank, you would take the positive, and you would select the very first point of the bank, and you take your negative, and you'd hook it to the very last battery in the bank. Now effectively the charging starts here, let me get out of the way here, the charging starts here in this first battery and now we're charging the one, two, and three batteries by placing the charging at the end negative here uh, at the very back. I've seen it where the, this negative would be in the middle and they were somehow hoping that this back one would get charged. It's not going to work. So again, charging is real simple. Once you have your battery bank built out, you select the very first point. And by the way, you can also tell because the, the, the vehicle or the loads will come in at this beginning point and the loads will exit at the last battery. Your charger has the same position. I hope that helps you. Um, the other takeaway I can quickly say is be careful when you do connect these alligator style chargers that you don't connect to the metal. I'm sorry, the stainless steel hardware that we show right here. That's, that's stainless steel. That's not going to be a good conductor. The lug of this cable is copper and you want to hook to that if you uh, get a bite on that if you don't have lead on the terminal. So again, charging banks of batteries, you want to find the first point and you want to find the end point and charge them as a whole. Okay? Hey, that's uh, Jeff at Deep Cycle Battery, How To Wednesday, How To Charge Batteries. You can hit us up at uh, 619battery.com or reach us at the shop here anytime, 619-448-5323. Have a great day. Take care.